Baalbek, Lebanon. The 9,000-year-old Temple of Jupiter contains three of the largest monolithic stones in the world, weighing approximately 1,000 tons, or two million pounds each. Pumapunku, Bolivia, scattered across a high desert plateau, are precisely cut 100-ton blocks, believed to date back at least 2,000 years, and perhaps much earlier. The Giza Plateau, Egypt. The Great Pyramid is built from more than 2.3 million limestone bricks, each weighing a staggering 5,000 pounds. All around the world stand colossal monuments to mankind's ancient past, gigantic structures that have endured for thousands of years, built with stone blocks so massive that modern builders have not even attempted to duplicate them. Our 988 cat loader can probably lift a 22-ton boulder, just for perspective, and it can probably roll and drag along the ground uh, maybe a 40-ton boulder. But when you're talking a 50-ton boulder, then we need to bring in cranes, hydraulic jacks, steel beams, girders. It's a whole other set of tools, even with modern-day technology. I mean, I can only imagine how they would move boulders that size. It baffles my mind. I have no idea. It's crazy to think about. How is it possible that 10,000 years ago, our ancestors moved around the most massive of stones? But the answer is either another previous super civilization existed here on Earth, or extraterrestrials imparting technological knowledge to us. Ancient astronaut theorists suggest such structures provide physical evidence that extraterrestrial beings visited Earth and assisted our ancestors in the distant past. And each of these three megalithic sites, as well as numerous others, have very specific stories behind them that say they were built not by men, but by the gods, using the power of levitation. Some ancient mythologies speak of the fact that some of these stones were put into place with sound. That these things all of a sudden levitated into place. What the local legend of Stonehenge talks about is that those big stones were transported by way of levitation. Similar to the mythical story of Stonehenge, the ancient legends of Bolivia say that the megalithic stones of Pumapunku were floated into place. In the 5th century BC, the Greek historian Herodotus wrote that the Egyptians were given knowledge from the guardians of the sky on how to float the massive limestone blocks with which they built the Great Pyramid. What we see is the very real possibility that extraterrestrial civilizations visited Earth all throughout the world and that each time they did, they felt it was very important to impart this sacred knowledge about the importance of acoustic frequencies in the keys to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. The University of Bristol, England, January 17th, 2017. Researchers unveil a prototype for what they call a portable tractor beam a handheld device that can levitate small objects using only sound waves. Recently, the University of Bristol came up with a handheld device with an array of speakers that allows the holder of this to actually focus sound waves and sound waves alone, and then levitate small pieces of light material. When we look at this portable tractor beam, can we extrapolate the idea that this is a technology in its infancy, where in ancient times it was actually being used to levitate large stones?